it's okay that I ain't got money like that. It's okay. I'm not ashamed of none of that. What I'm proud of is that God stripped me from everything. And oof, I got everything that I wanted with music. I got people to see me for me. Mm-mm. God is good, man. Sorry, y'all. I'm like emotional crybaby. We got this side of us, too. Like, I'm super blessed. Mm. National anthem to interviews to when I walk up and it's security, like, hey, Johnny, who you with? It used to be like, nah, we don't know if you're going to start anything. It's not that no more. It's women love me. They be hugging me. People be shaking. I'm holding people's babies. I'm like, bro, this baby's two months old. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They supposed to be outside. (laughs) Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. Oh, I mean, we Damn. good. Johnny, yeah, I just want y'all to know yeah, that we'll, the Gemini's rule. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't even got to do the introduction to the show. Johnny Blaze is in the building. <laughs> a friend of the show at this point. I'm so proud of you, Jay. Yo, I'm, I appreciate it. I feel like you're going crazy right now. Yes. As you deserve to, right? Like, I feel like you've been waiting for something like this to happen like a for a moment. Me. Yeah. A moment like this, though, yeah. when they're talking about the music, yeah. when they're talking about the talent, yeah. when they're talking about everything that should be talking yeah. about. Instead of anything else distracting it. It was something that came up, like, literally Not too 24 long ago. hours ago, and that's who just called me Deb. She was like, the way that you did that live, I'm so proud of you. Because people was like, I know she about to snap. I just went on live. I was like, you know what, regardless of what's going on, because that was two months ago. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to post that now? You know why. You know what I'm saying? And then say, here go your streams, babe. I'm already at 200,000 streams in, in like a couple days independent. So it wasn't about that. I'm not a person. Um, I'm really a girl's girl. Even with that situation, beautiful girl, talented. I'm not one of them people. Mm-hmm. If I don't like something you did, does not mean that I will tear you down. But you can't threaten somebody and then, you know, expect them not to respond back, especially me and I'm in my growing phase. Mm-hmm. So... What I did, I was like, okay, you put the spotlight on me, which it was already on me because I was already going viral. Fine, I'm just going to dance around my room and just play my music. Mm. And I've never done that before. When things usually happen, I usually be like, nah, let me just go. But I'm like, I always wanted this moment of people to just focus on the music. Why would I take that away from myself mm. when there's so many great things? And I got a lot of things going on this, like the, even being here. Like I don't want nobody to feel like you had a moment and you keep blowing it. For myself. It's not for anybody else. It's for myself. So, now you're talking about growth, bro. Like, Oh, you know. Man, yeah. I, and, and that's why. And I'm glad we can have this conversation because and the fact that you opened up with that because it shows where you are. Because even when we had a conversation, he was kind of like just reserved about certain things. Yeah. But I love the fact that it's like, bro, like. I'm not reserved no more. Yeah. You take it or leave it. And it, 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 I've been a liability to myself for so long having deals on the table and things like that. And I'm just like. I'm tired of, first it took the the therapy. Mm-hmm. The therapy makes you, put, put puts me in a position where accountability is my biggest thing. The two things I was missing with my career was accountability and just being like patient. Mm. And patient, when you're patient, your attitude, your temper starts to lower, lower, and then it goes, you know, it's in the back in case what it needs to when you want to have an attitude or whatever the case may be. But for me, it's like, I have to keep that back there because it's like, that's not going to get me anywhere. Mm. I wanted to do the national anthem for years. Lady was watching me the whole time, kept telling me, no, no, no. I don't want you to do it. No. Finally, she was like, I'm going to let you do it. Mm. I see something. I don't know what it is, but I see with the weight loss. It started with the weight loss. And then me telling people, hey, I'm doing therapy. I started doing vlogging. Um, I quit OnlyFans. Just a bunch of stuff. Losing 75 pounds. I was just like, 
And I didn't know my weight loss journey and me just finally letting people see me talk because nobody used to see me talk. I'm like, let me use my social media to show people, like, I'm really goofy. I love doing skits. And it worked for me. And I was like, okay, now it's time to drop the music, but how am I going to do it? So I started doing unreleased Johnny music mm. to test it. What do the fans like? What do people like to hear? And it just took off. I started doing a national anthem. Interviews started happening. And then four shooters happened. Mm. And it just went up after that. Yo, we're going to talk about the story, the journey, right? Yeah. But I'm sorry, because this has been going on right now. Okay. We got to talk about the viral video. <laughs> and not even just... Not even just a viral video, but like I said, though, bro, it was like my idea. You know us, Gemini's. You, you know that was we... all you. Yeah. So, you know, I build sets for music videos, all types of stuff. So I, I learned this strategy from a guy named Nove, and I bring him up regardless of people know the background of me and this person. But I, even when we're in our bad, like we we don't agree with things, I can't take that from him, and I feel like that's my growth of me getting my blessings, being honest. I had a success when all of y'all had like a, a 12, 13. Mm. He was like, you can't, you can't see nothing. It's a blurry phone. What you could do, no views is gonna be on it. Upgrade your phone. Okay, cool. I'm gonna upgrade my phone. So I started doing skits and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, I know how to do this content stuff. So once a week, I'll sit and do ideas. Something might not go here, but this idea will go for this. So I went on four shooters, fast forward over the years, I content. I was like, okay, it's only six people that did over millions of views. Two of them got signed off of it. The other three is already signed, and one's a big influencer. So it's gonna make it's gonna go crazy because that person's influencer. But what are they doing? So I noticed um, Unghetto, for example, he was getting hit by a brick while he was performing, like things that bother you, but you still keep rapping. So it went viral. He signed. Then it was an artist named Four Bats. His voice didn't match his look. So I was like, okay, for the men, that's cool. But what about the women? What are they doing? that's going viral, anybody can sing, but what is it that, oh, I'm known for changing my hair out. I always change my hair out. So I called the company, Wigging It, and I was like, I have an idea, and I put everybody in a group, and I was like, just hear me out, right? Because she's like, I can't do that. I said, there's no such thing as can. Um, you're gonna switch out my wig five times, because mm. she has wigs that she make for cancer patients. These are slide-on wigs that a lot of women use because we have to you know, change our look. So when we got there, everybody's sitting looking at me, and I'm like, you go here, you go here, you're too tall, you move here, you go here. You're going to get these confetti things from Party City, and you're going to pop them on different times. So when they edit this, it'll look right. So the first take, it was awesome. One wig didn't fit. I got a big-ass head. So we took that wig out, and it was only four looks. By the time they edited it, AZ looked at me, he's like, you're going to go viral, and it's going to change your life. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... He, he was like, whose idea was this? I'm like, mine. It was like, did y'all think she was? was like, no. And it when he posted it, it just took off. It was like, yo, she's switching the wigs out. Like, women, we don't like to show our braids. We don't like to show our, like, you know, our face. I was very insecure about not wearing makeup because my face would break out. I didn't like the way my nose looked because it was broken. I was very, very insecure, like, majority all my life. And then when I started getting healthy, my skin started getting better. And I started taking care of myself. And I'm like... This is perfect, this viral moment, because it shows it doesn't matter. People going, they don't care what you look like. Mm. They going to care about the creativity. They said it's been a long time since we've seen something creative. Y'all know my background of Billy Badass. I don't want to come in the game as an angel. I'm not saying that I'm going to do reckless things, but I want to come in being me. Mm. I will walk around, and if it's too hot outside, I'm going to slide that wig off. Because like it's, it's like, are you going to hate me for me being me? So behind this viral moment, I wanted to show people, like, be yourself, and it worked. And then ever since then, I've just been writing more stuff, like, all right, I know what I'm about to do. On the radar hit me. They was like, we want nothing but green wigs. I said, yep, I'll be there in a minute. That's hard. I'm like, I, I, I created something, and I heard Cardi say it. I heard my mom say it before. It was like, you always want to be the first at something. So I would watch, like, Lizzo playing flute and twerking. I said, I don't know how to play flute. I play six instruments. Yeah. But I don't know how to play flute. I know how to play piano and I know how to twerk. I am 2 Chain's third reel to this day. And mm. it got me placed where I wrote two records for Macy Gray because of that viral moment of me playing piano and twerking. It wasn't a copycat. It was a different instrument. But say, the idea of it, but it was something that I'm, I really do. So with me, it's just that's how it happened with the wigs. They were like, you're crazy. I said, it's going to work. And it worked. Yo, that's one, first of all. Shout I had out no to, idea, Jay. Shout out to whoever was, did your braids, though. Oh, my friend Sandy. And she was like, I'm not the best at braids. I said, it's okay. Just give me some braids, and I don't want them too neat. 
Because believe it or not, when you take your wig off as a woman, they're not neat after a while. So I like the fuzziness of it, of it, and I just did baby hairs. And it's so crazy because I was very insecure about my hair because I lost all my hair. I have HS, a hereditary skin disease, makes boils, cysts, that you can't move, you go numb. Um, a lot of people get cuts, and it's it's hurtful. Um, and my hair had just recently grew back to that length. So it was like a big moment for me with the wig switches. There's plenty of reasons behind it, um, all with the phone. I call it the broke strategy. That's what person no taught me the broke uh, artist strategy you don't need sometimes money to push something that phone and sitting there and thinking about what you want people to see you as or what you're great at and if you just tweak it you're i just saved so much money doing that off of some idea that i so let me of. ask you this then great moment right but i think i seen the post and the first thing i said was like this is cool but like she's this not even half the time. Like, this not even half the time. I'm just saying. So I'm curious. Does it ever, not frustrating, but how does it feel when it's like you got to create moments like that I for people it. to get it? I accepted it. Because so you, you know where I was going with it. Yeah, I play six instruments. I play acoustic, electric, bass, drums, piano. I write for people that you would never think. I sing. I'm a listener. Neil told me when we did our record, he was like, you know, I turned down. I gave people their money back because they didn't want to listen to me. You listen. You're not going to hurt my feelings if I crack or if you think I should be doing an alto one instead of a soprano one. I think your voice should be this. Okay. Because I'm looking at you. You got 20 plus years in this. So I'm not about to check you about that. So what I realized in reality, oh, this is a perfect person, Doja Cat. She did a cow song when we first met her. It went viral. She was talking about moo, moo. And everybody's like, this is corny. This is this. It did, what, 200-something million views. And then she said, watch this. And she's been up ever since. Sometimes you have to, people that are like, because people call me Baby Prince, and I'm going to tell you why, because of the instruments. Yeah. You know how that yeah, goes. Yeah. And I take that. I have, I'm have. i proud of people saying that. I'm the hood Baby Prince because I'm not perfect, and I'm not trying to come into the industry perfect. I want people to see that, like, I've never had a car a day in my life. I've never had nothing, none of these things. My talent is so big to the point, it's like, I, I know it's probably going to be one of these type of moments that gets your attention. It's up to me what I show you after. Mm. So I see her with a guitar. I see Lizzo with a flute. I haven't seen nobody with a guitar. Mm. So I, I saved up my money. I'm getting a custom-made guitar. So when I perform... I'm on there like, yeah, I have an all-girl band. Like, now you're going to see it. Now I started showing these things, and these blogs are, it's another strategy. When these blogs, or you don't know when they're going to post you, but if they post you, hit them up and be like, hey, well, I have 1.9 million. So I'm some of my, my followers are a lot bigger than some of these blogs that be posted me. So how I do it, because it's called the broke marketing, I don't have a budget like that. You know, I'm an independent artist with an independent label. Collab with me. I got mm. 1.9. It's 12 million impressions on one. And I got another page that got 20 million. Collab with me. I've witnessed blogs. Numbers go up. Their followers go up because they collab with me. So it's a win-win. Collab it on your page. So now when I disconnect, it goes to you. Yeah. So these are all these things that don't cost a lot. And this is free game because I'm not a hater. Anything that I give on here uh, when we're doing this interview is you cannot be me. Mm. That is not me being cocky. That's confidence. I cannot help that I'm talented. You cannot make me jealous of your talent. So if I could give these ideas and this strategy to people to help them, I'm cool with that. Mm. Sometimes I'll have plugs on certain blogs that I've witnessed. Other people won't say the names. It's 7000 to get on that blog. You just pocketed 3500 knowing that that blog was only 1000 and that artist is struggling. I'll do it different. I got 20 plugs, and I know these people personally. You can have these numbers for $500 as a package. So I got my hustling money on the side since I quit OnlyFans because I don't want people to see me. So there's different things. The talent, going back to what you were saying, I kind of figured that it was going to be something that's so simple. But what I did love is people did say, oh, this ain't nothing. Yeah. So I like the hashtag did y'all know Johnny was this talented? Yeah. Because now it's like a whole new fan base that's like coming that's in. Like blindfold playing piano. Like people wonder yeah. why my nails are so long. I purposely play piano like this. Bro, I'm getting chills. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of like I'm not thinking, trying to be emotional because no. it's like everybody I've interviewed, I've interviewed with you guys before and I already had the talent, been had it, but it's like a different level. And to see all of us, the people that I know, they're leveling, you're leveling, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, this is all I wanted. Mm. Like, all I wanted was people to see. I'm not no angel. 
I get attitudes. I, I be having nasty attitudes. I've learned not to take when people are mad at me to take it out on others. I'm still growing. I lost friends because of my attitude, my temper. I react maybe differently than others. That's fine. You either love me or hate me. Ain't nobody blockballing me but God, and that's not in his calendar, I don't think. Mm. For me, I don't, you know. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, if your lady's on go, but your meat got a fro. <laughs> yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, don't use the clippers you use on your face on the head below your waist. <laughs> yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, fellas, you want that jumper like Steph Curry? But your nuts is fairy? <laughs> but now nah, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Use promo code JHill for 20% off. They're going to give you a, the, the man bag. You know what I'm saying? When you're traveling, put all your grooming needs in the man bag. You don't got to carry it in your book bag. You don't got to be all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? They got the nose trimmer. Listen, man, some of y'all know it's disgusting out here. Get you a nose trimmer. For real. It shit is disgusting. Some ball deodorant for when you out and about. You about to get it on. Put that ball deodorant on. Smell fresh, brand new. And of course, the lawnmower five. Make sure you holler at my guys at Manscaped. J Hill promo code. J Hill, one word. 20% off and free chipping. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. You going crazy? Like, when, what was the, uh, I guess, the awakening moment? Like, for you, like this this new thought of. I got tired of failing. That sucks when you're about to go into your, I'm not nowhere near 50 or 60, but are you sitting back? I don't want to be the girl in a rocking chair, the woman in a rocking chair, be like, yeah, I used to throw down. I used to sing. I used to know. I'm still that. I want to be like the Patty LaBelle. I'm going to be like the Patty LaBelle that cooking and stuff, and that we love her auntie or whatever you call. It. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that pressure, that 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 legendary icon. Mm. And I might have started late, but there's still hope for me to. And I feel like this is my chance. And like I said, Deb literally was calling before I came on here, and um, she tells me to prep my interviews. You know, have your assistant or, and I was like, you know, it's crazy. I didn't have to do that for the past couple of weeks. This stuff's been happening because people really genuinely lately have been asking me about the music. They're like, I had no idea. Or either they know and they're big on this excitement. And I'm like, yeah. it's all working how it's supposed to be. It's, you know? I'm <laughs> sorry, but I don't. I, and this is coming from somebody who does not, even the story we, we were talking about yeah. for a little bit. I didn't even, somebody just told me about that, right? I don't pay attention to like blogs and stuff, right? Yeah. But the fact that I've known that like you're super talented, I would assume that everybody knows. So when you're saying people don't know, I'm like, oh, it's a lot of people, but it's not like a bad thing. I'm glad. I'm okay. I, mean, with I can that. see that. I can see. I'm, I'm okay, and that's a strategy in itself. That marketing can be a hashtag. Did you know Johnny? Did you know Johnny? And then I could just have a bunch of fans and everybody. Did you know? And then I'm like, hey. I've been doing this posting thing, like, hey, fans, I need y'all to do me something. I might do this tomorrow. Hashtag, did y'all know Johnny? And then they'll put all my old pieces of me covering Mariah Carey, me da-da-da, and then it goes crazy. You get the blogs to be involved in it. Did you know? And then it's like, I had no idea. You'll get a lot of people that are saying, but she got a temper. Is she doing it now, though? Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their ups and downs. The problem with society now is people want to point, 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 but I'm probably a duplicate of you. You just don't want to admit it. You going crazy? I probably, I probably, you probably got a temper too. You probably done pistol whip somebody, did something, and now because you want to be the goody two shoe, you want to look at the next person that reminds you of yourself that you don't want the world to see. So you want to jump on the bandwagon and make the other person look crazy, but really, I'm you. What people don't you know? understand though is, yeah, a lot of these things that happened is years ago when like people act like you can't grow up. It's you know, you know what's funny too. But she used to do this. She used to fight. She'd be like, but then when they see me, they're like, oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're so nice. Can I have a hug? So when I see that every day, all my life I've been like that. I've been known since out the womb because I did talent shows as a kid, um, America's, uh, um, American Idol, um, Apollo. I've always been that girl that people would say, I don't like her, da, da, da. And I've had people apologize to me and be like, I went off of just TV. I said, y'all think because a person gets on TV, they're rich as hell. Like I said, I never owned a car. I have no shame of that. I downsized my house. I stopped OnlyFans, and I wasn't a smart person to save my money. My best friend and me, we we roommates. Seven-bedroom house, quiet. And I have no shame. I don't care. Like, I do not care. I'm winning. I don't care about what nobody thinks of me. You know what I'm saying? I just don't care. I don't care. I don't own jewelry. I don't care about it. I care about what's the mission to get the music out, get things that people, get music out that people love, 
Um, I still get to travel. My best friend loves me. You know what I'm saying? It's it's family oriented. When I'm in Houston, my my guitarist, I stay with her when I'm doing my work and stuff, and we just be we be riding out, and nobody would never notice this. All you see is what you see on social media, whatever I post. So if that's all you see, unless you ask me in an interview or something, that's it. Mm. What are you gonna do? Dislike me even more? I'm still cool. I'm still I I'm in a space where I am not caring about nothing else except for that one yes mm. from somebody. And then it takes off. Seven. So keep talking. And I think we should drink to that. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Yo, this Because I don't really drink, but for for you and Jay, look at this. Look at this, y'all. Brought to you by Jay Hill. Bro, you would you like to have a cup like this that makes you feel like you're on top of a hill? You got that. <laughs> Would you like to have a cup that's your own initials? Too bad it's not yours. It's my friend Jay Hill. <laughs> your drink will be lighter, cleaner, and more sophisticated. Oh, man. Get this now. <laughs> oh, why they put me in the category of the funny um, laughs? Hmm. I didn't know my laugh was that vicious. I got to change it up a little bit. I'm going to pour my own poison. Yeah, pour your own poison. What's in this, Jay? Tell me what you think about it. Yo, you is childish. Tell you me the Mexican. Mexican wine. Tell me what you think about it. Wine? It's, 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 it's tequila. Oh, I was about to say, he should have never told me that. Let me. <laughs> but no, we call it Mexican wine. Superb. Excellent. Mm. Look, a little, it hit your heart. I got asthma. This shit hit hard. Huh? I got asthma. Is it because we twin? It's the Bro, Gemini. Man, ooh, it I might can't be. wait for this summer, boy. I'm about to heat them up. It might be. I'm not going to lie, because everything you be like, I, we talk, we joke about asthma. it all the time. I was a hothead coming up. Yeah. Like, super, I went to. I think we talked about yeah, this. Yeah. I was super hothead. Yo, so let me let me ask you that then. Okay. So you're taking a drink to the, mm-hmm. the good times. Yep. But when people, because I've seen, I think i seen you comment, they was like, she got, don't she got OnlyFans or don't she got this? It's like, bro, when you see the talent, people still try to bring up the old shit. Does it ever, like, feel unfortunate or hurt at all? I don't give a fuck. For real? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you why. You're going to love me. You're going to dislike me. You can't deny my talent. Because the calls that I'm getting, I ain't got no time to mess up for nobody. Mm-hmm. So I don't. the calls that I'm getting is unreal. I want to say it, but I want to. I don't want to mess up my blessings. No, I, for sure. Keep it. I just be sitting here. I'll tell you off camera. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but... I, do, I don't care what people think no more. I'm not changing for you. But a lot of more people see it than the people that be saying the little things. That's fine. I don't do OnlyFans now. So now what? What you going to say now? How, was hard, how, how hard was that Very to let hard. go? Very hard. Like financially, the most craziest thing I've ever done. I woke up one day. I'm like, I'm tired of it. I started getting a lawyer. Anything negative, we're getting taken down each month. Like mm. stuff is just getting so eventually it's going to be gone. Like... And that was for me, not for anybody else. It's just like I want to, I want to clean myself up. I don't go by Johnny Blaze no more. We're legally about to switch over to just straight Johnny. Johnny Blaze sound R and B. I mean, um, rapper. Look so. at this. I, I can't make this up. <laughs> I, am I, I'm not. I'm not making this up. Because you know where I came yeah, from, like, Jay. If, if, like this like, ain't no. I can't like. Johnny the sounds interview. better. I used to be like. Best female artist, Scissor, Summer Walker, Johnny Blaze. I'm like that don't sound right. Best female artist, Johnny. I put myself with the before it even happens, Johnny. Some that sounds better. I like Johnny, or it even was my real name, and my real name is difficult, which is Japelle Von Krishna. So I was like, no, I'll take Von Krishna from my Lash company. So I did Lash by Von Krishna, and I'll keep Japelle to when I get big enough and I do a clothing line. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do something like people, Kanye, another Gemini. It's like, why are you only twenty dollars for the shirts? The man made five point two million a day. Mm. People can't afford all that, and he knows that because he came from that. So. You, it's just different for me. I'm not looking at whether somebody likes me or not. I'm not looking at who's a fan of mine or who's not. It's either you love me or you don't. And I'm I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. I've I used to be so sad. They don't like me. They don't like me. I don't, I'm not here to I'm not here for everybody to like me. But you you won't you gonna see me. Mm. I'm gonna put it in their face every time I have to. I have something to prove for myself. You know how people say I got something to prove to others. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody but me and God. You either on the bandwagon or you not, and I'm cool with that. The less people on my bandwagon, the faster this shit'll go. Thanks. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Yo, Johnny, so the humility, <laughs> the humility in the room is crazy, bro. So we go from It's hot then a bit. No, nah, it goes from no, the humility. Like you're humble. Oh. <laughs> the the you go from at one point of time, it was reality TV. I'm I'm pretty sure it was a check associated with that. Sometimes. 
then <laughs> OnlyFans, I'm pretty sure it was a check associated with that. Yeah. And I hear you say, like, bro, I'm independent. It's the the broke artist play, for lack of better words, right? Mm -hmm. To to be okay with that, right? Like to to, to be okay with that is like that's a blessing because yeah, some people that's a hard pill to swallow. People be swallow. like, I don't want to. You know, I done lost my car. I'm living with my best friend. I, I don't know how people might look. No, it is what it is. My hairstylist drives me around, and I pay her gas, and I give her some change, and you know what I'm saying? And we ride out because we know what it is. Yeah. I don't have no shame in anything because it's just like you'll love me more. I haven't made it yet. I put myself in that position because I messed up my own blessings. Mm. So I had to start over. I had a person that was with my independent label that was putting money on me. And, and and making sure that my my music got out, and now I'm on the tabloids for fighting and stuff. So now it takes away from the music. So they're not going to put money behind it. So whose fault is that? Mine. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm in this space with this, you know, starting over, for some odd reason, when I got a little bit less money, mm -hmm. things started working better. And and Deb used to tell me when she was doing growing up in hip hop, she said you're going to have to strip every. Thing that you think you need from the OnlyFans, the five, six thousand, ten thousand a week, all that stuff, you're gonna have to strip your temper, everything. And when you're at your lowest, I was in my my best friend's seven bedroom house, and it's just me, him, and his niece, and his cousin, which we all family, where he's a truck driver, so we don't see each other. I be in the house damn near by myself, and I had just the blow up bed in there, but I had all my stuff from my loft in the thing, you know, in a storage, and he was like, why don't you decorate your room? That's probably what is giving you depression. And when I started doing all that stuff and I'm I'm being humble and I'm like, you know what? This makes me feel better. It's okay that I ain't got money like that. It's okay. I'm not ashamed of none of that. What I'm proud of is that God stripped me from everything. And oof, I got everything that I wanted with music. I got people to see me for me. Mm-mm-mm. God is good, man. Sorry, y'all. I'm like emotional crybaby. We got this side of us, too. Like, I'm super blessed. Mm. National anthem to interviews to when I walk up and it's security, like, hey, Johnny, who you with? It used to be like, nah, we don't know if you're going to start anything. It's not that no more. It's women love me. They be hugging me. People be shaking. I'm holding people's babies. I'm like, bro, this baby's two months old. Mm. <laughs> they supposed to be outside. <laughs> Hold my baby, take a shot, um, take a, a picture with me. And I'm like, man, I'm glad it humbled me. I'm glad I don't have all the money in the world because I know it's coming. I think being stripped from everything, people get scared. But when you have so much talent and you're realizing all you got to do is sing, and the next thing you know, you're looking up and you're doing things that you never did before. It's, it feels so good. I'm okay going home to my best friend's house. Right after I leave here, I got a place to stay. People still talk about my music. I'm healthy. Um, I'm still getting bookings now. I'm still making money, and it's happy, happy bookings. I got a booking after this R and B, an R and B club that's sold out, and I get to sing. Hmm. I got my. I might not have thousands coming in, but it's money saved to the side. If I want to do a trip, we just did Fashion Week, my first time. Thank you to Galore Magazine. I wanted to be on Galore Magazine since 2017. The song that just dropped now is the reason why I got the cover of uh, one of the covers of Gilor Magazine, and they invited me to Fashion Week. My homegirls, we in a group together. They're like, I'll get my ticket. All right, here, I'm going to put 300 on the, um on the hotel. What you got? I got 100 We all went and had a blast. It's not about money. It's about who you have around you. Um, <laughs> Man, and just believing. I never thought that I would like the stuff that I be seeing lately. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I really left everything behind, and now I'm I'm right where I need to be, and I'm happy about it. Like I'm cool. Yeah, I don't got like I don't have to say nothing. Like this is <laughs> it's amazing. Sorry, I no, didn't mean to, like, it, cry, I, I felt it coming because it's been overwhelming every day. Today was a little stressful too, because I be wanting to snap on things, and I'm just like, it ain't worth it no more. Mm, mm, mm. It's not worth it. What people don't understand is hard though when you're so used to. And that's what, but you know what? I'm now it's just like, nah, it ain't it really not worth it because you don't know the next time you have opportunity. This might be God saying, I'm telling you now, I put all that talent in you. Play with me if you want. And with this last chance, I'm gonna give you and see what I'm gonna do to you. Come on. That's man. how I feel like. Like, that's the person that I care about. If God was like, 
a person that was on earth and he had a uh, Instagram and I seen him in there saying, play with me if you want. That's the only comment I care about. Like, see, y'all done got God mad. I'm not playing with none of y'all. I don't care about what none of y'all talk about. I, God told me. So it's just like, I'm not. Yo, hindsight yeah. being 2020, right? You going through all of it. Mm -hmm. What do you tell a girl who might not understand what she's going through? That might not be able to see that her temper can be that's in the way of the blessings. Like, what do you tell that young lad? Everybody is judging. Everybody got something to say. Hold up. <laughs> this ain't for clickbait. <laughs> All right. It's just real. Nah, for real. I know what you You see somebody like a Christian Rock. Yeah. Right? And everybody got so much to say about her. She, right? she remind me of me. Everybody judging, just miss what they, it's quick to say something, mm -hmm. but they have no idea what this girl is going you through. You know what's going to happen with her? Krishan, when I met Krishan, I I could see off of and brought to you by my friend's phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I've she she actually does remind me of me how mm. I how I was. What's gonna happen is on her time, just like me, she gonna switch everything. All that negative people was talking about and stuff. She gonna blow the fuck up. Mm. She already she's already there. But I, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. She gonna just, and she's doing it now. Like it be in and out, but you cannot. We, it's not our business to change that girl. That girl gonna do it on her own. She's sweet as pie. Oh mm. my gosh, she was so sweet to me. Cool, kicking it, and I. That's I don't go off of what everybody else talk about. I go off how you treat me. She was cool as shit. She said that you could sing. I was mm. like, you dope as hell. So how I see it is, it's not up to us to change her. That's not our business. It's her and God. She's gonna. It's gonna be a moment where she changed, and she, she gonna be bigger than what she is already. Mm. She gonna be out of there. Like, I'm talking about out of there. And that's how I see things because I would want people to, you don't expect people to do that, but you be, people be hoping for people to change, not because they want it, but they genuinely do. And there's a lot of people, I'm sure, want her to just grow bigger. So that's really how I feel about What word would you give her, like a like a message, like even if it's not advice, right? Like what would you- I don't you... believe in giving people advice no more. Yeah, but if it was a yeah. word, not advice, but like um, if you could see her in one-on-one -on -one and be like, yo, listen, man, no matter what- What, what, what Deb would... said to me- What's that? You're going to have to strip everything. She I, That was the most hurtful conversation I ever had with Deb on TV. I think that's why I am TV gold when I go on TV. I don't read scripts. I'm not doing nothing. You either you either going to catch this or you don't. And that's why a lot of cameras when I was filming, I never understood until now. Now I'm recapping. You're supposed to have two cameras on you when you're filming. It was all the cameras. The whole production was always on me because you don't know what, what I'm going to do. And she said to me, she was like, you're going to have to strip everything. I'm talking about strip down, like at archive stuff, archive your page, don't post, hold your post. Like, that's the only thing I would tell her. Mm. Just on your time. Cause I can't, you can't give nobody advice. You can give advice all day. It's up to them to take it. And then when they don't take it, you like, see, I told them, no, you didn't tell them nothing. What you did is you told your opinion of what you think they should do. And because they didn't do it, now you feel like they are terrible. Mm. You're not God. So. Everybody got their own opinion out of their mouth, unless it's... Uh, even when, you know, when people say it's facts on stuff, it could still be a possibility of an opinion. You have your opinion. But I wouldn't give no advice because when people was giving me advice, I didn't want to listen. Mm. I was just like, yeah, I hear you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this this way. So that's what I would tell her. I, I stopped giving people advice, and I stopped taking people's advice, too, because I knew, once I figured it out, I knew what was wrong with me. I was mm. like, bro, you're a liability. I literally looked at myself and was like, bro, you fucking up. Mm. Something wrong with you. You gotta change, bro. This ain't it. This ain't it. What this was that moment it. for you though? Um, it started in 2013, but I would just off and on. But I took therapy with Dr. Lee. I actually um took a break for two months and I wanna go back because she didn't know who I was or nothing. This was about a year and a half ago. She's like, I'm gonna take you up your medication. I'm like, huh? She's like, I'm taking you up the depression and anxiety and the um I, in my sleep, I um, have panic attacks. So it'll stop my heart for like 10 seconds. So I was like, I'm not doing that. She's like, I'm going to take you off. You don't need it. I'm not prescribing you that. She said, you have an attitude problem. She's like, I could tell. I don't know you. She called me Miss Jackson. That's my last name. She didn't know who I was or nothing. This is crazy. Once she started figuring out, she's like, you have a temper problem. You have an attitude problem. And it's not nobody else's fault. You just, you're just nasty for no reason. And you're blaming everybody else for something that, you know, you could have stopped because of your reaction. So when I started really getting into that and I was like, you know what, I wanna change that, it started happening day by day. And the gym, shout out to Dr. Uh, not Dr. Well, Dr. Kurz and King of Fitness, I started getting into the gym and being around normal women that was also going through things, heartbreaks and stuff, and they used the gym 
to lose weight, but also it was like a um, when you're angry, you get the box and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I just felt better every day. I was just like, yeah, I feel better doing this. Like, I feel better calm. And when things started coming in, I was like, well, okay. Maybe I need to be calm so I can get to where the fuck I need to go. Mm. Ain't nobody nobody got time to be putting up money and then losing it because you want to smack somebody or I ain't got time for so that. So therapy in the gym. Yeah, therapy in the gym and then just switching out who, not switching out, but just letting go of people. Mm. Certain people, I don't want to be around a person that's drinking a lot, you know, and all types of stuff or doing this or you're partying, but I'm a singer, so I can't club every day. I got to be in the studio at those times. So that's kind of where I was like, Take this out, this friend. When I need to party, I'll party with that friend. But it was about me. <sighs> no, yeah. I love it, man. Yo, yeah. I, before we get out of here, hold on, hold on. As the amazing singer you are, oh my god, I need to know <laughs> what you think about Usher's Super Bowl performance. That's a trick question because it was good. So I'm trying to figure out if you. Yeah, oh no, it was fire. Where would you rank it? Do you watch Super Bowl performances? I do. Where would you rank it? This is, you trying to, because I, I like this, so I'm trying to figure out if it, it's a 10. Like, am I supposed to say something? No. I'm Did just, I miss something in no. the, when he performed? I'm trying to backtrack. No, like, I'm asking your opinion nah, on it. What you think about song, it? He killed that song. Nah, he snapped. As far as Super Bowl production performances. Production-wise, I'm looking at production on him. You know I love instruments, so I know he had the band somewhere. We just probably couldn't see they behind because there was a lot going on. I ain't gonna lie. When I'm talking about all time Super Bowl performances, he up there. People, I'm with Charlemagne on this one. Charlemagne said it was number one. I think it was number one. It would have to be. It was fire. I like Whitney. I like, but these are all different things. But Whitney, I like. You cannot compare none of them. Actually, they're all different. Prince is tough. Prince is cheat code because it rained. Like that was nah, God. Nah, that was God. Exactly. Yeah, like so, that. Oh, so you gonna say God was cheat? That's cheat code. Like it just rained. You like just say God. purple rain is rain. You like just say God cheated, bro. That's cheat code. I'm saying that's a cheat code. Did you just say Jesus I'm, cheated? I'm saying that's Did cheat code. Did you just code. say God cheated, bro, by making it rain on that man on purple rain? Get your ass up, man. You out of pocket, Jake. <laughs> you yo. He didn't cheat. That was God doing that. That had to be up there. So I would give... All right, so if that's Come the case, on, I would man. give him number two. But I'm not... Me personally, people... I know what people hate this. I'm putting him over, over uh, Michael Jackson. Performance. Super Bowl performance. Did you watch Michael Jackson performance for the Super Bowl? I'm just saying. Michael Jackson got up there. He stood up there for 60 seconds. The whole stadium went crazy. That's 60 seconds. My man Usher was 10 songs in. You really don't deserve none of this. Let me get the mic too. No. Yo. No, okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about All it. All I'm saying is, because I watched. Michael, I, Michael, Whitney, Prince, Beyonce, Usher, I think, I, Brianna, I feel like every artist, hear me out, is number one. Aww. Okay, so I'm going to tell you why. We all have our favorite moments of each one. Mm-hmm. They killed it. Like Prince, with it raining, that's crass OD. That's insane. Michael, nobody sat down. That's OD. Rihanna, pregnant. They expected the girl to just wind pine it everywhere. And she got a whole belly. And it was fire. We love Rihanna. We haven't even heard, uh, haven't got nothing from her in a while. You know what I'm saying? So, well, Usher, is, that's why I say everyone's number one for different reasons. I cannot sit here and tell you which one would be number one because... It's cool. I know you... You know what I'm saying? You, like, they but, all got their own thing. And I ain't even gonna put but that I'm on But I'm an you. artist that plays instruments, so it's hard. If yeah. you really want me to break it down, I think Prince or either Michael because I like instruments. You know what I'm I saying? I ain't mad at Prince. I ain't mad at the that Prince. That Prince was I OD. I ain't mad at Prince. you told me that Jesus, you were off I'm saying I ain't mad at that. I me, mean, per- I, I, you know what? I like. I'm not even gonna ask you that question. That's too tough it's a question hard. because I'm an you instrument. go. We listen. The music is popping. They loving it. They and like, yeah, need no so distractions. She was on yeah, Hill well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. You right. Now Atlanta want to right. jump me. You right. Because I got ATL yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Come you on, right. man. We don't need no distractions. You right. You right. I'm gonna ask my guy. I ain't saying a damn thing. Zoom in on my face. I got somebody in my ex. 
I said everybody. Facts, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna do that. We, you right, you right. He tried we ain't to gonna get do me. that. Nah, nah. We ain't gonna do that. He tried to get me. We, it, the spot, where is that right I'm now? Just sweating. It's perfect. We are gonna leave it at that that perfect spot. Uh, uh, focus on the music. Uh, we don't want uh, no distractions. We don't want nobody be like Johnny Blaze said. I'm like, I ain't say nothing. Yeah, we ain't on that. We ain't I'm on be like, that. Jay, what what I do? What I do? My sales then went down on my single. Now you, you come right. back and bring me back. You right. You right. You right. You right. We ain't gonna do that. Nah, cause you my dog. If you somebody else, I'm like, I ain't nah, trying ain't, to hear. No, you know what that. it is. Jay was up here thinking he was Usher moonwalking all the way to this damn um interview, <laughs> talking about some. Uh, what song was you see? <laughs> Spotlight. <laughs> Big stage, head ass, fifty thousand fans, nothing in your thing. But but no, when he opened the door, he was like. Paparazzi flag. <laughs> Open the damn door, Jane. Stop playing around, man. God damn. All he needed was a leather biker jacket, boy. He would have been sold. That boy moonwalked all the way to here. Yo, and that's um, a long hallway. Yo, nah, this is great, Unreal. man. Unreal. Yo, this is great, man. <laughs> how was um? How was Joe shit? It was, it was dope. It was really cool. It's funny Yo, you're hell. really on tour right now. By like, by doing broke, broke artist marketing. That's what I call it. B-A-M. Yo. Bam. You was outside, man. I'm telling people, sometimes it's not about money. Sometimes it's not about money. And I've known these people. You know, I used to dance. So mm -hmm. they used to be at the clubs. And I was the girl that said, ah, I'm Johnny Blaze. I sing and I dance. I want to dance. <laughs> so it's coming back full circle. That's a good feeling. It's a, it's a good, this is a good feeling. What you? I know you're pushing something. What's going on? What's, what so pushing? I'm, I'm pushing a single fumble. Mm -hmm. And I'm dropping again March 15th. Uh, I'm trying to debate which one? Because I did a rap song by accident. Cause shout out to Sage um, and Slump. Um, they was like, try this. You just got your slugs in your mouth. I'm like, but I keep on slurring. I don't know how to use these guys. I kept the grill and it was like rap just like that. And I'm like, so when we tested the song out, the rap song, that shit did like 3,000 comments. Did, did like 500 something. I'm like, okay, this is how I go off of my records. I'm like, there it goes. So I did 10 visuals, shout out to uh, Shop by Benzo, and my producer is um, Dre Beats. Just working, yeah. No, oh, man, it's good to see you on top, man. It's good to see people focused on the music. Me too. I like, was like, I genuinely, Yay. I showed you the goosebumps. I genuinely I know, meant it. I know, this yeah, is yeah. like a good moment. That's why I was like, I'm sorry, I'm 30 minutes late. How people... nah. It was her fault. It's all good, man. She was sliding and gliding on people's scalps. No, nah, it's, all, it's all good. I appreciate you, man. Um, Anything else that you want to tell the people that we might ain't touch on? Um, Just, oh... This is another thing too for women. Cherish, cherish your glam and your team. Mm. Sometimes it's not about money; it's about your friendship and how you treat people. They'll do just about anything for you <laughs> when you treat them right. I'm telling you, me and this girl be kikiing like it's nothing. My my shout out to my glam, my makeup artist, and my hairstylist, um, and my team, and just keep good people. And you're cool. right. Yeah, and my she feels <laughs> cause man, like and your transportation. I ain't got no shame in it, boy. I do not drive. Y'all wouldn't want to see me drive anyway. I do eighty and the thirteen of uh, mile lane. But anyway, um, mile per hour. Yeah, I'm a reckless driver. That's probably why I got all them damn speed tickets. But nah, man, I appreciate you for real. It was great talking <laughs> to you. It's great talking to you. I ain't got nothing in here, Jay. This was strong. Yeah, this, this ain't wine. Nah, uh, it's far from wine. You know what? Let me just test it out when I get home. Don't even worry about it. Go ahead, for cut the cameras off. <laughs> All right, I'm see y'all. Former, formerly known as Johnny Blaze, we gonna call her Johnny now. Johnny, Johnny, J Hill, J Hill podcast is a wrap, man. That was great, amazing. Yeah. <laughs>